All right, so here we've got our design. We're going to add shading into our roadway. I'm going to right click, click plan options, turn on shading. And here I've already got one of the options set up. So I want to shade my surfaces. So yeah, I've got my subgrade, I've got surface layer one, I've got surface layer two, surface layer 10, uh, all added into my list here. And we can modify the symbology we're using for those if we wish. I'll hit okay. And there we are, we can see our roadways hatched, surfacing layers are hatched, and uh, yeah, we've even got surface layer 10 hatched to show our, our spill aprons. Uh, that's not the only option for what we're dealing with here. Um, so one of my favorite uh, display options in the, the shading location is to shade based off cut and fill. Um, now this, depending on your settings, may uh, show up as a period, uh, series of stripes. Um, but what it's going to do is uh, display where you're in cut and fill. So I'm going to Hit OK here. So red, I'm in cut. Green, I'm in fill. With this, it's based off your section lines. So each location that the road is calculating a cross section, I have a band that's two millimeters wide being applied to it. So if I narrow this up to be half a mil, we can see we've got little gaps in between those. Um, and that's just a setting, you can change it and control whatever you'd like uh, for that one. Other options in our shading, so when we've talked about cut fill, surfaces, uh, code pairs, so can be similar to surfaces. All it is is the, the point codes that make up our templates. Uh, we can add in shading between one point code and another. Um, so let's go uh, between road edge left and side shot left. So outside of your cuts and fills. And then I've got road edge left to road edge right. And there we are, we've got shading applied there. And last option will be to base it off an attribute. So here we can take a, a road attribute, um, choose all different sorts of options. In this case, I've got it set to show my grades. So I'll hit OK. And now I've got a, a graphic to indicate how steep my road is in the plan view.